Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello my friends and welcome to the final episode of Ragbri 2023. It's been an amazing week in Iowa and we're going to finish it off in style. Thanks so much for watching this series and be sure to subscribe to my channel for many more adventures. And if you want to support my channel financially, consider joining my Patreon. You'll get early release videos and much more. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you know what? This seems like the one of the longer rag brides I've ever done. And then I was talking to somebody and they're like, yeah, this is like the sixth or seventh longest rag bride. It's like 500 miles. Usually they're like 450. So I think that's why people are waking up earlier because the miles are longer. There's quite a bit of elevation and it's hot. So when those things happen, you got to get up early. Amelia, this is a little sexy <laughs> of a stretch for a campground. Uh, don't you know the importance of glute activation? Uh, I guess I do now. Yep. Man, there are kids around. Just about to say. <laughs> it's my favorite family on Ragbri. How are y'all doing? Good. Y'all sleep well in that big tent? Yeah, it was a sweaty night though. No. I've never sweat so much. I was soaked. How about you, bud? Good. You eating breakfast cookies? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Lucky. What's up, my friend? What's up, buddy? How you feeling today? Like a million bucks, man. Cheered on a little too many people though. My voice is all messed up now. Oh, hey, Connor, you're still here. I'm still here. I thought you might escape in the night. Um, what is it, Stockholm Syndrome? Where you fall in love with your captor? I think that's what we're talking about here. Uh, no, it's, I, I'm not excited. I think there's some anticipation uh, for the day. You kind of get used to the grind. Um, so, you know, I'm stoked. Yo, Jay, give me Nux. Boom, how you feeling? Feeling good, ready to take on the day. Oh yeah? How are the legs? Uh, okay, those aren't feeling as good. <laughs> I uh, had a moment yesterday where I was biking and I was thinking, you know, running 100 miles and then coming out here and doing this maybe wasn't my most brilliant idea ever, but I love this event so much that I wanted to give it a try. So FOMO. FOMO. So I was in a bit of a struggle bus, um, but you know, we're making it work. All right. Thank you. Wonderfully soft piece of ground. All right, you weirdos ready to ride bikes? Yeah. Let's go. I wouldn't mind some donut action. Oh, look at the donuts. How long is the line here? It's oh, it's not yesterday. too bad. Hey, how you doing? Good morning, everybody. Breakfast pizza at Casey's, always the way to go. Let's do it. How we doing? Good morning. Good morning. All right. Oh, we're happy. We're happy. How are we all doing? Do they have any vegetarian left? What did you find, Amelia? I, I found my road snacks. Oh, that so I'm looks just, good. Where are you going to pack that? I think I'm just going to put it under my arm and just ride. <laughs> so a lot of times the lines are so long at the Casey's that you just eat all your food in line and when you get up to the cashier you're like, I had pizza and three donuts and a drink. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Connor. Blame the camera. Thank you, awesome people of Casey's. Thank you. Bye. One, two, three. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Yeah. How you feeling, Amelia? Feeling good. Better than yesterday. Just gotta, you know, get acclimated to biking a bit and then I'm in a groove. All right, we're 25 miles in. How we doing? Yeah, we seem to be doing all right. How's it going, Solar Boys? Hey! 
Hey. Mr. Doozer! How you doing? Hey, we are doing great. <laughs> Tell me about your setup. Hey, yeah, it's all handmade. Um, everything is pretty much junk. Well, not junk, used stuff. And it's all parts that if something breaks, I can go to any hardware store and find a replacement piece for it, so. And is it all solar powered? Oh yeah. Yeah, I was telling people yesterday, I haven't plugged the battery in for like four months. And then yesterday killed me, so it made me a liar. I had to plug one in last night, so. That is so cool. How long have you been riding this thing? Uh, just four months. I just put it together this winter. Still doing it, looking good. Thank you. Amazing, how's it feel today? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to be done. I I'm, bet, having a, I'm having a great time. I bet you're ready to be done. I am so impressed. You're gonna be proud of yourself after this one. <laughs> Woo, you got some stories for your friends when you go back to school. Oh yeah. Wow, how far along are you? Um, five months. That's exciting, Has there, are there yeah. any difficulties to being pregnant? Just um, having to go pee in the cornfields often. <laughs> What are you going to tell your unborn baby about this rag bride? <laughs> he helped me through. He's my tandem. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I wish you all the best. Thank so you. You've got what, four months? Five, just into five. Just into five. Four yep. months left. Woo! I have found my team hiding in a bunch of trees. Uh, this guy right here, that's our Shade Hunter. <laughs> yeah. We're, yeah, we're starting to pick up nicknames on our last days, and that's the Shade Hunter right there. <laughs> they call me Shammy Connor, Shammy Cream Connor. Shammy Cream Connor. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to put that title right here. Yeah, that's Shammy my name. Cream Connor. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the spot. We can sit here and watch all the riders go by. Look at that, man. Amelia, how's that booty? A little bit chafy. Chafy booty? Yeah, I haven't spent as much time in the saddle this year because I've been running, and um, yeah, I'm 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 hurting. Uh oh. And my not an, there's not enough chamois butter in the world that will Come fix on. what's Connor's going on. Connor's got the chamois yeah, butter. Hook her got, up, man. You gotta go. You gotta go to the hookup. <laughs> yeah. Nice job. Oh, I ain't getting out, brother. Should we just out. take a seat here at the town fountain? Oh, it's so nice and chilly. Just a couple dudes in a fountain. <laughs> you know? Feels good. How we all doing? Oh, yeah. Connor, your first piece of pie. Amish um, pie. Amish pie. There's something special. Yeah, it is. If you haven't had Amish pie, you got to get some Amish pie. <laughs> It's time for my butt massage. Here we go. Uh, oh, that was an aggressive one. <laughs> so we have a bit of a headwind, and this might be the only time I'm ever gonna say this, but I'm actually grateful for the headwind because it's cooling us off to a degree. Is this heaven? Let's go in. I'm gonna show you the cornfield. You might think the cornfields would be cool because they're all shady, but it's actually super hot and steamy in here. Woo! Oh it's like God. a sauna, man. You're in the middle of nowhere fast. Yeah, you could really get lost out here. If yeah. you took, if you went in 30, 40 feet, you're like, huh. Yeah, you ain't getting out. But I guess you just, all you have to do is listen for the classic rock <laughs> on all the, the stereos on these bikes. Ooh, scary. Station number one. This is a great little town called Amana. Old colonial town, all these beautiful old buildings. I've never seen a town like this in Iowa. It feels like the Northeast. So I lost Connor for a little bit, but then I found him because I know where he always hides. Right here. What's found the up? Water. What's up? Boom, bada boom, boom, right. Chris. Hey, hey. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah! It's so amazing to go from like blazing hot to pretty darn cold. Shivering. This is what the Finnish do with their saunas and their, their ice baths. Thank you, Oxford, for cooling us down. All right, 18 miles to Coralville in the heat. Connor, you ready? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. I'm super ready. I just had a hot dog, a cinnamon roll, giant lemonade. Should be powered up. I just gotta let it turn into a little bit of energy in this body. Yeah, Connor. We're never gonna get to Coralville, but that's oh. okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Skate and rag ride. All right, Connor, last push. You ready for this? Uh, yeah, just so ready. So ready to get in the pool. So oh, I actually really want, I don't know, I got five miles left of this journey. I do want to appreciate all of it because despite my heavy breath, this hills and the heat, I'm having an awesome time. Yeah, man, it's been really fun to share it with you. I'm so glad you're out here. Uh, I think we're all happy we're out here, right? Even though it, it's kind of hot right now. We're all happy, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So some kid just wrote up and he said, hey, the heat index is 115. 115. That's a lot of heat. <laughs> Woo, that's probably the hottest I've ever, ever ridden in. But it really, if you jump in water every 23 minutes like we have been, <laughs> it's not that bad. Ole, 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 ole. Hi, Alan. Are we here? Yes! Ole, 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 ole. Are you shotgunning a phantom? Yeah. <laughs> Shotgunning. Chug, 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 chug. Small sip. Dude, you guys are awesome. Great day. Man, Cheers. So Great, day. Great day. Yeah, Great day. Good job. Good job. Great day. Look at that. Oh dear, watch out. I didn't really think anything was gonna happen, but I think something's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. way to end rag brush. Yeah, this, Look is, at, this, this blew me away. Wow, this is, a, this is a Midwestern storm. Okay. Time to take some shelter. Shelter time. I don't know what's happening, but it is cooling down the temperature and I will take it. Woo! Oh, Woo! Man, Connor. What's up, buddy? The day's not over. The day is never over. Things tend to stay crazy here in Iowa. <laughs> uh, we, we are getting mixed reviews from the Iowans. Half of them say it's no big deal. The other half say we need to run and get shelter. There's sirens. I've never heard sirens before live in California, live in New York. This is all new to me. I have no idea what's going on. All I know is this is the type of thing that took Toto away. And so I think we need to be on our watch. That's right. At least you look good too. Look at that shirt. Don't try it. Still alive. Day five. Still alive. Day five. <laughs> we are under a pavilion, luckily. It's raining pretty hard out there, but we are dry and happy. And the best thing of this whole situation is it dropped like 20 degrees. It is very, very comfortable. <laughs> Serious talk, Connor. I am so glad you showed up, dude. This was an incredible bonding experience, my brother. Get over Love here. You, brother. Love you Thank too, you my everything. man. Thank you. This was so fun. It. I've been bugging him for years to come here, and he didn't quite get it, and now he gets it. Oh, I get it. My whole body gets it, and <laughs> more people are going to get it next year. Uh, Hopefully yeah. with a bunch of you, too. Yeah, yeah. We're going to invite you all next year. Come it's going to be so out. much fun. It's he has to leave a day early. But we're still going tomorrow morning. It's the final day. Update. So, originally, it was only supposed to rain for another, like, 20 minutes. Now they're saying it's going to rain till midnight. We were going to wait it out and then put up our tents. But it's only 9.30 right now. But Amelia has a friend here, and they're going to come 
save us and pick us up, or we're gonna go to their house. Yay! Way to go! Whoa, what, who is this fine looking I, gentleman? Jacob something or another, apparently he's on a show. Well, is there a welcome that is a video? nice welcome. <laughs> Sweet, who are these wonderful people? Thank you so much for taking us in. Absolutely. <laughs> and so Amelia, what's the connection here? Okay, so the connection is the first Tough Mudder I ever ran in 2011. I ran with Andy. My brother-in-law. Oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. Andy and my brother-in-law. Yeah, and her brother-in-law, who I worked with, named Lewis, uh, had a law firm in Chicago. So, and haven't seen them since. <laughs> really? You haven't seen each other since? No. Nope. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Iowa are. brings everybody together. Yep. Oh, this seems a little cozier than a hot, sweaty tent. <laughs> it is very cozy. Ooh, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Oh, we've got Pop Tarts. Somebody knows Emilio well. Uh -huh. Thanks for supporting us. Absolutely. <laughs> Happy to have you. Yummy food. Mm -hmm. So, what's the story with Pop Tarts again? So, <clears throat> the first uh, world championship that I won I was doing really well. And uh, the race director yells at me from across like the course. And I was like, Amelia, what did you have for breakfast this morning? And I yelled back, Pop-Tarts, which I did because they're great, easily digestible carbs. And ever since that, I have always eaten Pop-Tarts before races, every single race. And I guess before Rag Rai. <laughs> oh, it smells so good and fresh. Thank you, Rain, for cleansing the world. And thank you, Lindsay and family for taking us in. Oh, final day going to the Mississippi River. I've got Amelia, how you doing? I'm doing great. Oh, and the world is nice and cool. That rain really dropped the temperatures. No flatties, no, no crashies, flatties. no whammies. No heat indexes to 115 today, please. Oh, what an amazing week. Let's finish it off strong. We have found our people here. We are reunited with our rag briars. Good morning, everybody. Yeah! Woo. Looks like we get to go through the Iowa Stadium. Awesome, I love stadium rides. That was definitely a fun way to start the day. Yo, yo, yo! Good morning, what's up? Look at those college kids waking up early to cheer us on. That's impressive, it's not even seven. So we have about 70 miles to Davenport, to the Mississippi, and then all of a sudden, Ragbri's done. So we gotta make sure and really enjoy these last miles, this last day, it's been an amazing week. Good morning! <laughs> and I think we're gonna be able to do that. One more awesome day in Iowa. Good morning! Good morning, Amelia. Good morning. Yeah, Iowa, we love you, Iowa. We are back out into the fields of corn where we belong. There is a nice cloud cover. It is the perfect temperature. Amelia, how you feeling? Fantastic last day, let's do it. you've been pulling the flag all week long all week long century loop as well wow yeah impressive people loving it oh yeah everybody's loving it 
<laughs> Everybody, all kinds of cheer people standing up along the sidelines as they drive by. Yeah, it's kind of great. Yeah. Yep. Have you had a good week? Very good week. A little sunburn, but hey, you know, all comes with the territory being hot like that. So on the last day of Ragbri, a lot of people wake up very early because they have to get to the end town, Davenport, early to catch their shuttles back by like 1.30 or 2 p.m. So people are rushing on the last day. Not rushing from the country, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, Amelia. Yeah. 30 miles down. 30 miles down. 40 to go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, and it's still cloudy and cool. So at the beginning of the week, you met Wilson. This is the biggest adventure bike ride of his life. He's been toughing it out. It's the last day. How's it been, my friend? It's, uh, it's been challenging, but it's rewarding. I feel uh, accomplished. I, uh, we're not that far from the end, and my uh, beautiful wife accompanied me for the last day. Yay, Stacy's here! <laughs> yep. So, Tell me about some of the, the, the low points and the high points. Uh, the low points, uh, gravel, and uh, the amount of weight I had on my bicycle. Um, Wednesday I got pretty sick, got dehydrated. <laughs> I uh, wasn't really sure about the nutrition side and so I got help by some other bikers that gave me pointers on what to do. Uh, the high points are spending time with my wife, meeting new friends and definitely do it in next year again, but next time with my wife and uh, it'll be fun. Right on, I'm so proud of you my friend. Thank you. Whoa, you see that body of water right there? What? It's the Mississippi. Oh. We did it! No, wait, we have 30 more miles. This is such a tease, Ragbri. We're in a town called Muscatine, which is on the Mississippi. Usually when you finish Ragbri, the first time you see the river is when you're done. But uh, today we're probably gonna ride up, North. up it. So that'll be cool. Northeast, we're going. And it smells rivery and fishy, mmm. There's a lot of big and exciting moments at Ragbri all day long, but if you stop sometimes, you notice the little things. And right above my head right now, big flock of birds. And I'm just standing here mesmerized by how the, they're just floating through the air. It's pretty cool. Tell me about your history with biking. Okay, so when I started Dream Team last year, I was 250 pounds, maybe a little bit less, 5'8", about. And after that year, I lost 30 pounds just doing Dream Team. And then I did wrestling and football and it completely changed my life. It made me love activity. Before I just wouldn't do anything. I'd never even been to a gym. Now I'm thinking about doing power lifting. <laughs> just everything I wanna do. <laughs> That's I wanna do awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. And next week you're gonna do a century. You haven't had enough biking? Nah, no, not enough. I'm trying to hit 6,000 for the year. I did about 3,000 last year. 6,000 miles in one 6, year? 6,000 miles in a year. Right I'm gonna, on. I'm gonna try and maybe, maybe I'll go for 12 next year. Maybe I'll do 12,000 next year, get 1,000 a month. 1,000 a month. You're gonna do it, man. Man, why? you're awesome. <laughs> Keep it up, my friend. Look at those big fish. <laughs> All right, so. We have five miles to go, and it feels incredible. It's a big accomplishment to ride 500 miles. This has definitely been one of the most difficult rag rides I've ever done. It's the longest one I've ever done, the most elevation and the hottest. So if you're out there, if you've watched my previous videos, and you're like, man, Ryan makes this look so easy. <laughs> And then you came this year, and you're like, oh, that Ryan guy sucks. This isn't easy. You just did one of the hardest rag rides ever. <laughs> and I would say the heat played the biggest role in it. Man, that heat was brutal. And now we have five miles, victory lap, just to soak it all in. I love this event. I love the people of Iowa, I love the state of Iowa. I love the food, I love the goofiness, I love the kindness. That's the big thing. There's just so much genuine love 
and kindness out here on the part of the riders and all the locals. And it's just a special event that always renews my faith in humanity, makes me feel good about my country. And yeah, I'm riding a high right now because I'm almost done. <laughs> I always feel good when I get to the finish line of anything, whether it's a race or just a bike ride or whatever it is. And just for good measure, one last ole, 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 ole. Where's Amelia? Where's Amelia? Ole! Woo! And Amelia may have just completed the first ever 100 mile run straight to Ragbri. I think that's the first kind of a double. <laughs> Anybody want to join me? Yeah, we'll do it next year. Not. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling so good. And I'm really just so grateful for all the new friends I met and all my team doozer teammates. Next year, we're gonna do it up even bigger. So stay tuned to that. And for now, Amelia and I are just gonna hang out and enjoy a 10 hour car ride back to Boulder. Sorry that you're the one that has to drive. <laughs> I don't really drive. I don't really drive. She doesn't want me driving. It'd be more dangerous if I got behind the wheel of that car. <laughs> I also want to thank the organizers of this event. 50 years strong, that's incredible. I hope Gragbri lasts another 150,000 years. <laughs> and all the medical and support staff, the Air Force team for patching everybody up, fixing their bikes. There's so much that goes into an event like this. And to be able to get 20,000 plus people across the state of Iowa in seven, eight days is pretty incredible. It really is. I do a lot of events. and. This is impeccably organized. And all the people selling pie, thank you. You wanna thank anybody? Ooh, I'd like to thank Casey's General Store. Casey's, <laughs> if you would like to sponsor me, um, you can reach me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, Casey's, hook it up, sponsor us. Who wants some free ice cream and pizza? Hello, my friends. Raise your hand if you want to ride bikes with us next summer in Iowa. Oh, I see you and you and you. That's great. And as you can see in these videos, we are a bunch of goofballs and we are very welcoming of riders of any ability level. That's the beautiful thing about Ragbri. You don't have to have the best gear and be in tip top condition. You can go whatever speed you want. Last year we had Team Doozer and it was a little loosey-goosey. We sold the shirts, but we didn't have a meeting point at the end of every day and every morning. So this year we've come up with an idea to make this easier for all of you so that you can start and end your days with us. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna join a charter and the charter is called the Out of Staters. There's lots of different charters that serve Ragbri and what charters do is essentially they create a community within a very large community at Ragbri. So listen up. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to register for Ragbri at the Ragbri website. And when you get to the checkout, there's a little drop down menu where you can choose which team you want to be on. Choose Team Doozer. And then next, I'm gonna put this information below, you're gonna to wanna to join the Out of Staters Charter. We've been in touch with them for the past couple weeks. They seem great. They've been serving Ragbri for many years and you wanna go join their charter. It does cost money. There are different levels of charges for the different amenities that you may or may not want. All questions need to go to them, not to us. We are just kind of joining their crew. They serve about 500 people and maybe we'll have, you know, 75 ish people on team Doozer that will be part of the out of staters. So the information will be, be below. You can choose whatever amenities you want, but the most important thing is that this will allow us to start and end our days with all of you on team Doozer. So we're going to have like a nice little community within a large chaotic Ragbri community and we're going to have tons of fun. Again, questions go to them out of the out of staters. The money goes to them, the out of staters charter, not to us. Thanks again for watching this and we will see you next summer 
in hopefully not so steamy Iowa. <laughs>